Happy Amanda Claus! Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and good morning if it's morning for you. It is currently morning for me. Um, today I'm going to be taking you along during my day, kind of like a day in my life, get productive with me sort of video. I have a lot of holiday errands and things to get done. I also have some non-holiday things, but we're going to be calling it a holiday get productive with me just because we are currently in the midst of Amanda Claus. I don't have my hat on, it's over there and I'm too lazy to get it, but just know that it is Amanda Claus and there will be a giveaway at the end of this and I'll be sure to put my hat on for that. Hopefully I get a lot of stuff done today. I'm aiming for a very productive day. I have my coffee ready in this cute mug. I thought it was very fitting for Amanda Claus. And I also have my oatmeal going. It's relatively early in the morning. Recently I've been really into waking up early, which is weird for me because probably like a year ago, not even a year ago, like a couple months ago, I was the type of person who would stay up super late at like 3 a.m. and then wake up and sleep in at like 11 or even 12 sometimes. And I don't know what made me try this out, but for the past couple of months, I've been trying to wake up earlier and slowly readjusting my sleep schedule. But now I've gone to the point where even if I don't have something to do that day, I still wake up at 6 a.m. or sometimes even earlier to get my day started. And it's honestly been so life-changing, not only health-wise, like I feel a lot more energized, but also in terms of productivity, I found that I am just way more productive throughout the day when I wake up earlier. I think it's because I actually don't really get that much stuff done in the evening. Even if I stay up super late to work, it's not as efficient. So now that I wake up earlier, I have time to like chill and relax and have my coffee and like an actual breakfast. Whereas before I would either skip breakfast or just have a super small quick one. And it's really nice because I can have some me time to just relax, eat my breakfast, watch some videos on my phone. And then even if I end up messing around for like an hour or so, uh, it still ends up being 7 a.m., which means you still have the rest of the day to go. I feel like I'm just turning into a grandma. I'm like sleeping early, waking up super early, eating oatmeal, which is like the most grandma food of all time. <laughs> um, but I've been really loving it and I top it with all sorts of stuff. Like I have my flaxseed meal, some shredded coconut on it, cacao nibs, cocoa nibs. They're very crunchy. And then I put some maple syrup for some sweetness because I don't want to put like actual sugar. Finally, I throw some cinnamon on it. It's just Amanda's oatmeal recipe, I guess. I don't have a fancy cinnamon shaker. It doesn't look great, but I promise it tastes great. And I just like do a little mix and we're good to go.
I just finished cleaning up a little and getting ready and I also did a little bit of planning. You guys know I've said this a million times but I always like to start off my day and end my day with bullet journaling just so I can organize all my thoughts and my tasks and attack the day and be productive. So I planned out my day. A lot of the things that I have to do today are kind of things that I've been putting off doing. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to get done for my event, which if you guys didn't know, I think by the time this video goes up, the announcement will already have gone live. But for any of my Toronto little doodles, I'm actually gonna be hosting a Toronto meet and greet slash pop-up shop. We're gonna be selling the 2020 doodle planners. There's gonna be a cute meet and greet photo booth and like a cute little bubble tea cafe. I'm so excited for it, but I'm also very stressed because there's a lot to get done. Uh, before the event, but actually everyone who comes to the event is going to get a little pencil case with some stationery in it So I need to create those little pencil pouches and stuff them with the pens and There's like a lot of them. I think we're packing like 200 just in case I'll do that. That'll probably bring us to about lunchtime Also, I wanted to share a couple songs that I've been obsessed with recently uh, They're gonna be the songs that I'll be listening to while I stuff 200 pencil cases um, and I always like to listen to music and stuff while I'm planning or getting work done anyway I feel like a lot of you guys have similar music taste to me and this is actually a song under the 88 rising label 88 rising was actually kind enough to sponsor this episode of Amanda Claus I was so excited when I got the email from them saying that they wanted me to help share uh, some of their songs with you guys because I actually listen to a lot of 88 rising artists on the daily. I've included them in a bunch of my previous Spotify playlists before they even knew about it. Uh, Nikki is one of my favorite artists. She's in my December playlist. Jackson Wang I've included in my November playlist. Not only are all of the songs bops, but also I just really love what they're doing in the music industry. I think they're really pushing boundaries for Asian artists in general. Obviously, K-pop is also a huge part of that movement, but I think 88 Rising sort of fills a void in the music industry for Asian American artists who sing English songs. And it's just so amazing to see because I would say like even a couple years ago, five years ago, you would not be able to see someone like Joji or Rich Brian killing it. So I love it. You guys know I'm all for anything that adds more Asian representation into the mix, but tangent over. These nights by Chunga and Rich Brian, such a bop and also such an unexpected pairing, but for some reason it works. I love Chunga. I listen to her other songs all the time. I also love Rich Brian, but I never thought they would do a collaboration. Um, so we're gonna listen to it now. Oh my god, it's Chunga. Queen! That's my first recommendation. I highly recommend you check it out. What are some other songs that I've been loving? I have an entire December playlist, so let's check that out. Oh, okay, so I have been loving Love Die Young by Eric Nam. Another great Asian American artist, might I add, because this new album that he just released is fully in English, which I did not expect him to make. But yeah, this song is great. I can't play it because I think I'll get copyrighted. I'll link my entire December playlist down below. Actually, funnily enough, there's actually a song by Nikki, uh, another artist from 88 Rising, but her Head in the Clouds 2 acoustic sessions, there's only three songs on the little EP, but I have been listening to those three songs on repeat. Her voice is amazing. If I could implant someone's vocal talent into my body, it would be Nikki because her voice is just incredible. So my favorite one is shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't. It's like relaxing R&B vibes. So if you like chill music, then you'll definitely like this song. It'd be nice if we could stay friends, but we shouldn't. You know what, I couldn't. That's enough if I had your heart, it wouldn't be. Okay, vocal talent go off. I guess I should include like a Christmassy song since this is Amanda Claus, right? My favorite Christmas song of all time. This is so hard. There's so many good ones. That's Christmas to me by Pentatonix. Great Christmas song. All right, anyway, so those are some of my current song suggestions. I'm gonna be listening to a bunch of them while I get some work done now. Thank you again to 88 Rising. Because of them, I was able to play the songs in this video and not be copyrighted, so 
we were able to actually jam out, whereas normally I would have to mute the songs. As you can see, I have all of these pencil cases and these need to be filled with all of this stationery. I'm gonna be putting three pens and markers into each one. Hopefully by the time I get going, we can figure out a system. I'm slowly getting through them guys. I feel like I'm getting, I'm like a machine now. One of, you know when you watch like how it's made and those machines are just like efficient and going uh, at a constant pace, that's me. I'm a stationary machine. But I mean the reason why it's taking so long is because I have to do it almost one by one because I want to make sure everyone gets three different colors. Like it would be so much easier if I could just put three of these since they come in the box like that and just put them in the pencil case, but we don't do that here. Honestly though, it's kind of fun. I feel like I'm packaging little gifts for you guys. Do you guys see this speed? I've decided to turn this into a game and I'm gonna see how many I can do in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and that's starting now. Now. No. Okay. I got five and ten seconds. That's one every two seconds. Let's focus, Amanda. I am currently on the second round, like I'm putting the second marker in. I'm trying to make sure everyone gets one of each type of marker. We have the jelly roll pens, and then we also have the brush pens, and then I, um, in here, there's some fine liners as well, so I wanna make sure, uh, or at least try to make sure everyone gets one of each. Okay guys, uh, a little while later, I think I finally finished everything. There should be three pens in each of those pencil cases. Now I need to zip all of these up. <laughs> uh, I hope those of you who come to the meetup really appreciate these because it took a while to do all of them. We're almost there, I'm on the last couple of ones guys. Last one! Lunch time. I'm just heading to go grab some lunch. I also brought this package along with me. It's actually my Korean uh, stationery haul giveaway. So I'm gonna go send that and also maybe pick up my PO box mail because um, I want to do a video where I respond to some of you guys. I didn't realize how late it was, but it's like 3 p.m., which I don't usually eat lunch this late, but time sort of got away from me. Um, anyway, for lunch, I'm having some soup. It's really cold outside and snowy and gross, so... Whenever it's like that, I always crave soup and then some rice because I'm Asian and we have rice with everything. But like soup and rice is 10 out of 10 from Amanda. Have any of you guys been on the Disney Plus hype? I recently got it and it is incredible. I've been binge watching Wizards of Waverly Place, Sweet Life on Deck, Hannah Montana. It's great. And also, so far their originals are really good too, like pretty good. I've been watching the new High School Musical series, the spinoff, and it was a lot better than I expected. I'm thinking I'm gonna continue my sweet life of Zack and Cody binge, cause it's a classic. That used to be my favorite show when I was younger. This is actually the episode where it's a triple crossover. It's with Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Hannah Montana, and That's So Raven. If any of you guys have Disney Plus, let me know what you're binging, cause I'm very curious. Uh, it's great. 
You can see Cookie behind me. Is it focusing on me, not Cookie? Wait, what is what is Cookie doing without his Amanda Claus hat? There you go. Now we can continue. Okay, so as I mentioned, picked up some stuff from the P.O. box, which by the way, a lot of people still ask me whether I have a P.O. box and what the address is. It's always in the description box, so if you're curious or if you want to send me a cute letter or whatnot, details are down below. Obviously, you do not have to. Um, I just get questions a lot. So, I'm going to open a couple. This one has some cute lettering on the front. I feel like I'm opening Christmas presents. With my tree. Google, turn on Christmas tree. Sure, turning on Christmas tree. Ta-da. Ooh, oh my god. Manda, this is from Manda from Ohio. Oh my god. She sent me a bunch of washi tapes. These are so cute. I'll have like stars on them. Wait. Look, they're like metallic moons on it. This would have been perfect for October. She probably sent this a while back. Sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with all those stuff, but oh my God, thank you, Manda. It's so trippy that your name is Manda because that's my name, but without the, the beginning part. These are black sticky notes. Oh, that's so cool. Imagine like writing with white gel pens on the front. Okay, there's a cute little letter with my name on it. Thank you so much, Manda. That is so pretty. Also this card. She said she's a card maker, so I'm assuming she made this card. That's incredible. Wow. The next one is from Anthula. Anthula from Greece. All the way from Greece. Oh, cute. It says, look at, wait, look at these. They're like, there's a little fox and then a little hedgehog. Oh, they're lip glosses. How does that work? How do you open them? And then there's also this pencil with a camel eraser on the top and then a little letter. Thank you, Anthula. I think this is the last one I'm gonna open for this video. This is from Emily from Connecticut. Oh, I see RJ. Girl, you guys know me so well. There's like BT21 washi tape closing the envelope as well. Oh my God, and she wrote it on the matching stationery as well. She's a freshman in college. She makes BTS enamel pins. It says her Instagram is Pied Piper Pins on Instagram. So I'm excited to see these pins. She like, there's some cute packaging going on. Wait, these are incredible. Oh my God, what? Do you guys see this? Guys, it's like full on BTS persona and it moves and everything. There's another one here. And this one is all seven of the boys. Whoa, these are amazing. This pin has like holo holographic uh, glitter sparkles in the background. Emily, how did you make these? That is so, so crazy. I don't know if you guys know this, but I like low key collect enamel pins. I don't have enough for it to be like a full on collection, but I do like put them on my pencil cases and on my tote bag. Like this is my tote bag right here that I carry on the daily basis and I have a couple different ones. So thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna be putting this on my bag, Emily. Okay, well, I sufficiently feel spoiled. Uh, it was a nice early Christmas. Thank you to everyone who sent stuff. If you did send me stuff to my PO box, I promise I got it and I read it all. I just might not be able to show all of them in videos or respond to all of them, but I do look through every single one, every single letter myself. It's currently 4.30, so I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do next. Later on in the night, I wanna go skating. Growing up, I used to skate a lot and I even did figure skating, so, I mean, I stopped now, but now that I'm an adult, my favorite thing about winter is skating, so I always can't wait for when the public rinks open up so that I can go on my evening skates. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with my friend tonight. Um, so I wanna get stuff done before we go. Maybe I'll write some holiday cards because I do have a couple of holiday cards that I need to write and send out um, very soon actually. Christmas is coming 
way too fast. The end of the year is, is really imminent and it's kind of scary. But I still can't get over this tree. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, maybe watch my previous Amanda Claus video where I decorated my entire tree with stationery. And it looks kind of ridiculous, but I'm also here for it. Everyone who visits my apartment and sees this tree just starts laughing and I don't blame them. <laughs> um, hello friends. So it is about an hour since I last spoke with you guys currently dark outside, but I may or may not have taken an accidental nap. Um, but you know what? This is a real day in my life and I do tend to take late afternoon, early evening naps since I do wake up way earlier nowadays. So um, I guess it is kind of in line with what I do on a daily basis, but it does kind of put a damper on the whole get productive <laughs> with me portion of this video because I was planning on getting a couple more things done before I had to meet up with my friend for skating, but you know what, we'll roll with the punches. I do have a little bit of time left before I have to leave for skating, so maybe I'll get a couple things done, but <laughs> I can't believe I literally passed out after eating. You know, food coma tings. Can anyone relate? Something else I realized is that I didn't drink pretty much any water today, so don't do that. Stay hydrated, friends. You know when you don't realize how thirsty you were until you drink water and you're like, yeah, probably should have drank water sooner. doing a bit of bullet journaling because I sat down with the intention of starting to write some holiday cards but I realized I have so many random people that I need to like write cards for um, so I don't know how many to write or I don't know there's just a jumble of info in my head so I figured I might as well start planning it uh, this is the spread that I made I attempted to do some lettering that looks like ribbon almost like the ribbon is spelling out the title but not sure if that was successful. I mean, nonetheless, it's just a pretty simple spread anyway. So I just sectioned it off. I have gifts to mail out. So these are any gifts that I need to actually go to the post office to ship out. Gifts for my family. This one's smaller because I pretty much know what I'm getting my family members already. I just want to make a checklist for when I actually wrap them and all of that. Then down here, I have gifts for my friends, which is, I, met, I made this one wider because it's probably going to end up being more of a brainstorming area. And then I have gifts or cards to write. I'll probably end up sectioning this off even further, like cards to write for acquaintances, cards to write for friends, family, people that I work with, etc. But for now, this is what I have. Uh, not the greatest spread I've ever made, but uh, this was just made in the span of 15 minutes and I just needed to get something done in order to start you know, making a list out. But I think it's still cute. I think if I had more time, this ribbon lettering could have come out a lot better. Anyway, it's actually time for me to head to the rink, so I'm just gonna quickly get changed into some warmer clothes and then we're gonna go skating. Can't forget a hat when skating. relaxes me and honestly I come here alone at night. You do! A lot! Yeah, just to like listen to music, it's so relaxing and also gives me like a low-key workout, but it's nice to have company. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got back from skating and hanging out with my friend. Honestly, it was so nice, especially after such a busy and productive day. Actually, like, 
Now that I think about it, was it really a productive day? I feel like I didn't do that much. Um, but you know, I did, I did get a bunch of things done. Anyway, it's currently way later in the night. Uh, I like to sort of take this time to relax and chill. I have my Christmas vibes going. Look at my tree. She looks very festive. And then also recently I've been playing the fireplace channel on my TV. And a lot of times I'll sit in this chair, which again, it doesn't look very comfortable, but it's actually so comfortable. And the exact elevation and recline of it is perfect for me to sit in and then just put my feet up and watch a movie. So maybe I'll watch like a Christmas movie tonight. But actually another thing that I do often at nighttime, I feel like I only do this at night, is I'll play some ukulele just to relax. So I figured maybe I would do a little ukulele Christmas song for you guys uh, just to close off this vlog because I've actually never played ukulele on my main channel before. I've done it on my Instagram and on my random second channel, but you know, this is the perfect time for me to serenade you guys for Amanda Claus. So let me grab my ukulele. I wanna wrap up the video with a song, so I might as well just say from the get-go the giveaway for today. Obviously, I'm giving away one of the hats and I'm also giving away a 2020 doodle planner. And then I'm also gonna be giving away a 50-pack of Crayola Super Tips. You guys know I love these as well as a dotted notebook for bullet journaling just in case you are not a 2020 doodle planner type of person. I'll also be throwing a bunch of other stationary goodies in there as well. So as usual, the rules for entering will be in the description box below if you're curious. Now let's close it off with a nice little song. I think I'm gonna go with White Christmas. Happy Amanda Claus, friends. I will see you in the next video. See you next time.